Okay, some items on my to-do list are easier than others. Today, I'm gonna choose an easy one coming off last week's accelerator linkage. I made some 3D printed parts. They're gonna help me with tidying up the brake lines. Let me show you. I'll be doing a lot more 3D printed parts on this car. This is just the first. Um, probably a lot with the dash and some interior components. Uh, these go under the car. These are some little brake line clamps. I couldn't find the size I wanted for the price I wanted. So I made these, I have access to a 3D printer. These are made of solid ABS. They're actually quite strong. Okay, this side has a little hex shape molded into it. So this nut will just drop in there. That one's upside down actually. But then this side has a countersunk portion. So this flathead screw will just go through it and then this is a nylon, nylock type thing. So that just clamps it together and keeps my brake lines from rubbing and touching each other. Under the car now, and you can see a mess of brake lines here. This is where the pedal box is. The master cylinders have their outlets right here. And then this one goes to the rear of the car and this one gets teed off, one to the right wheel and one to the left wheel. And previously I had put some zip ties around these brake lines to kind of keep them separated and prevent them from rubbing together. The issue though is these two, if they bounce around or touching, and if they were to wear a hole in each other, then you would lose brakes. So that's not good. So I'm gonna put those spacers in today, keep them separated a little bit better so they don't ever touch. Down here, I put the rubber isolators in so it doesn't contact the body. And same thing on this side. Here they are put in. There's a little bit of clearance here. I can, you know, not quite get my pinky in there. And then a little bit more clearance over here too. And it just kind of keeps everything from rotating. So it's much, much more secure now. Cool. Next up is gonna be, um, next time I'm gonna work on these fuel lines. They're pretty cramped in here. Um, got some rubber hose that's gonna go from here over to the tank which was fittings behind here. So it's gonna have to go over that bar, over the rack or something. So we'll work out that next time. Okay, here's a real quick overview of the 3D printing process. My parts are shown here in blue and the white stuff around it is called support material. It kind of builds up like an anthill, keeps the part dimensionally stable during printing and also the holes from collapsing internally. Then it goes into the 3D printer. This is not a Home Depot style printer. This is a high-end 3D printer. It's temperature controlled, very, very accurate. Once the parts are printed, they go into this bath and that dissolves all of that support material. So you end up with just clean parts. I'm gonna put these parts on a website called Shapeways. Anyone who wants to order them can. They are not just models. These are structurally strong parts made of solid ABS. Pretty good stuff. Okay, so that's make spacer block for front lines. That's done. The only thing left on the brakes is to bleed the brakes and I cannot do that yet because I don't have the rear brake pads. They're back ordered. There's one more thing I can do today that's also pretty easy, which is install the rear shocks. This is your car without shocks. I have some used Bilsteins that I think are rebuildable. So I'm going to just put these on for now. They're better than nothing. And we'll work out the coilovers in a future episode. Thank you. 
And here's your car with shocks. You can barely move it. Much better. Okay, my shocks weren't actually on my to-do list, but clearly they're needed. That's two easy items today done. And uh, check back in the next couple days. There should be more assembly things coming your way. Take care.